Howdy, Scott in Colorado here. I wanted to talk about carrying your firearm in a ready to go condition. That means one in the pipe, one in the chamber. All right? Your gun doesn't do you any good if you need to fire this thing. If there's a threat, you do not have time. Time is of the essence. You do not have time to pull this sucker back, okay? And and rack around in there, all right? This is the proper way, like this, close up against your belly, okay? You grab it here, you pull it all the way back, where you open cans, all right? And you release it. You don't ride it forward. You don't go like this. This is not a slingshot, all right, like this. I see a lot of guys doing this. If your fingers are wet, slippery, or bloody, um, you can't grab onto that. Grab onto it here, okay, close into your body, okay, where your belt is, where you open cans, all right, where you have strength and pull that sucker back, and then let it ride, let it go, boom, you let you let go, boom, you let go, all right? Um, when I was a law enforcement officer and uh, now I was concealed carry, I always, always, always carry this in a ready-to-go uh, condition, all right, one in the pipe. Let me show you, let me see it, and I've tried, had to practice this um, because it's hard to untrain myself. I was taught the right way, and it was hard to. I've seen this happy out on the, happen out on the range with uh, officers that are new. I'm going to keep my hand in the wrong condition, wrong position, okay? And I'm going to short stroke this as if I was in a panic. What happens? Is people pull this, pull this back, all right? And they don't get it all the way back. There we go, right there, all right. What happens is you get a misfeed, all right? And this firearm is no longer operative, all right? To get this operative, you're gonna to have to drop that, drop the magazine, clear this, all right, and put this back. I'm doing this through the lens; it's a little hard to see. Okay, and slam that back in. And again, you're gonna to have to rack around in it. Okay, I'm gonna do it correctly. Pull it back. Okay, and let go. All right, it's got one in the pipe now. Oops. Okay. If you're in a situation where you've got to pull out your firearm to defend yourself and if it's not ready to go you're not going to have time to jack around in to pull this slide back you need to pull it and fire all right don't short stroke it yeah I know there's is the Israeli military not allowed to carry one in the chamber well it's because I can tell you it's because they don't trust their military personnel they need to train them better all right that's my take on that if you disagree, that's fine. If you want to carry it, carry around an empty gun that's not ready to go, you know, seconds count. A quarter second will count. All right, it's got to be ready to go. You do not, you cannot afford to short stroke this puppy. All right, in a panicky situation, and I can't even. Okay, there we go again. Okay, pull it partly back, partly back, and then ride it forward, and it jams. And this is a Glock. I've never had this firearm jam ever in my life. All right, guys, if you're going to carry, if you're going to pack, if you're launch horse, you've got to have one in the chamber ready to go. This is not going to go off, all right? It's not going to go off in your pocket. It's not going to go off in your holster. Unless you put a finger in there, okay, and pull that trigger back, all right, or snag it. It's not going to go off by itself. Anyways, that's my rant for the day. Guys, be safe. I don't want you to get hurt. Be smart. Carry around in the chamber, ready to go. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye.